he said that carry out the transformations that would make the permanent revolution a reality in countries like Egypt and Tunisia. Marxism this year has been amazing. I've been coming to Marxism since the early 1990s, uh, and I've never seen it as exciting and as big uh, as this year. And this is... I know people, people say that this is uh, just because of the events, obviously it's because of the events, but also it's because of people organizing. I mean, people must have worked very, very hard to make this uh, a meeting. Now, people, I mean, especially this meeting is also a very, very exciting and so on, but people get out of these meetings uh, uh, and have to go back to work and go back to kind of the ordinary life. Uh, but really, this time, we have to take the spirits to the workplaces, the spirits to every place uh, we're going back to. I'm lucky, I'm going back uh, to Cairo on Thursday and on Friday, there's a half a million march in uh, Tahrir, so I don't have that problem. Right? for revolutionary Marxists worldwide are uh, really, I mean, unprecedented, uh, seriously unprecedented, for several reasons. And throughout this week, uh, uh, people have talked about these reasons. Uh, the Marxists kept saying that there will be a world crisis, that the, the system was unsustainable, uh, that the system will uh, 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 enter a serious period of crisis, and we've seen that vindicated completely in the last three or four years. Uh, they say, yes, you were right about the crisis, but there's no resistance. Nobody's resisting it, okay? Uh, so, the yeah, new Marxists are right about the crisis, but in terms of resistance, that was old, that's what the old, in the old century. This century, people don't resist it. And then you get a series of revolutions, general strikes, and so on, that put that uh, away completely. Now, our task is to prove the third part uh, of what we've been saying and what we've been talking about and what we've been telling people all these years, that we need to build a revolutionary organization to win the battles of the future. And this is our task uh, today. Now, there are two things I'd like to, to, to say. that Britain and the US, the governments obviously, and their intelligence service, are uh, uh, on a daily basis involved in trying to sabotage the Egyptian revolution, uh, of trying to contain the Egyptian revolution. Okay? Now, we won't let the generals win, okay? We can deal with our generals, but you deal with these Western uh, interventions. You really have to open and we will try them in Dakir Square. You will get rid of the governments that want to contain the Egyptian revolution that are bombing uh, Libya uh, aimlessly uh, every day. You have to stop. Your, it's your job to stop them. developments in Egypt uh, during uh, the revolution has been the spread of independent uh, trade unions. Now, these are not just uh, your typical trade unions. These are start strike committees that were formed during the revolution okay, and that played part in the revolution. Uh, these strike committees are turning into independent uh, trade unions and now there is a federation of uh, Egyptian independent uh, trade unions. There is a belief that, uh, uh, that's been passed around about uh, this uh, uh, trade union federation. This is one of the most important aspects of the struggle of the coming months uh, uh, and years. 
the independent organizations of the working class, the kind of forces that we can use uh, to, for, to, to, to face the challenges uh, ahead of us. Uh, uh, and we're talking about the main trade unions involved, the new uh, the strike committees and trade unions involved, the bus strikers uh, that, that struck on the 9th uh, of uh, February, Mubarak fell on the 11th, the tax collectors that started the first independent trade union in Egypt since 1957, uh, hospital workers that have sacked their managers and, and, and made elections for new for managers from their side. Uh, uh, so it is very important for people, especially that many of you are, are doing uh, union work, are, are involved in building unions, are involved in strikes, uh, and so on, to create the links with these new uh, unions, uh, to create the solidarity necessary uh, uh, to, move, uh, to move forward. Another very important point uh, I want to make, I think that is important, is that Tunis and Egypt, the regimes uh, have fallen. Syria, uh, the regime seems uh, much more difficult to get rid of. And I think one of the main reasons is that the Syrian working class has still not entered the battle. It was when the Tunisian working class entered the battle that Ben Ali uh, had to leave. It was when the Egyptian working class entered the battle that Mubarak uh, uh, fell. Uh, and what we're trying to do now is to link up with uh, Syrian uh, workers to, to, to send a message from Cairo, from Egyptian, the Egyptian workers that uh, uh, brought down the bar, uh, to tell them that only you can finish him off. Yeah. Only the Syrian workers can finish him off. And if you get a strike through the Syria that gets rid of that murderer, okay, then this whole region will be on fire. Our whole region will be uh, uh, on, on fire, uh, literally. And the talk of Western intervention, of course, will start you know, getting hysterical. Uh, uh, and I hope you quiet down that voice uh, completely. <laughs> now, the Egyptian revolution is really at its beginning. The strike movement is continuing. Suez workers are on strike, uh, threatening to close down uh, the Suez Canal. And there was a very interesting strike a couple of weeks ago uh, by the electricity workers. Now, the electricity workers made their demands and said at the end that if these demands are not met, uh, we will take further action. Now, that was understood by the media, the bourgeois media, particularly that they were to darken the city, basically, just shut down uh, electricity. And there were these arguments between the workers, the strikers, uh, and these different things about, no, no, we don't want to shut down the electricity in, in the city, but don't force us to shut down the electricity uh, of the city. This is how powerful the working class has become. Uh, so basically, the, the, the military, the generals, saying, please don't shut down the electricity. This, this would be very, very you know, confusing. Okay? Uh, and the workers saying, OK, we'll talk about it. I mean, we don't really want uh, the fire to be dark. I mean, so this is where the working class is at. The chances are unprecedented, unprecedented. There are strikes every day in Egypt. Okay, since the revolution, there have been more strikes than ever. Then the whole strike wave from 2006, uh, uh, the biggest strike wave ever has happened with this revolution and is continuing. <coughs> The main slogans on Friday, there will be two main general kind of political slogans uh, next uh, Friday. The first is, the people want to overthrow the field marshal. Which basically means, the people want to overthrow the military. The second is, the people want to execute the president. by some kind of crazy uh, uh, Marxists or, or whatever. These are slogans that hundreds of thousands of people throughout Egypt uh, 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 are, are doing. Just imagine how scared the generals are. <laughs> uh, I just want to end uh, by saying that this is a historical moment worldwide. I think this whole Marxism has been about this, about appreciating how uh, 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 this moment is of world historical significance. And we have to take the chance now 
Okay? The history doesn't repeat, doesn't keep giving us these chances, okay? It's giving us uh, this chance, okay? We want to win this battle, and we can win this battle. Really, this time we can win this battle. I promise you, in Egypt, we will win. We will get rid of the world. battle to the end, okay? We, I was watching, I was in a coffee shop in, in Cairo watching Madrid uh, uh, with Egyptian flags and Tahrir and, and so on, and people in, in the coffee shop were saying, yes, but why don't they attack the police? I mean, why are they letting the police? Why are they, why are they uh, and you know, uh, discussing the tactics of the, uh, thought, ah, the occupation is good, great, but where are they, why aren't they defending the, the, the square? Why aren't they going after the, the police stations? I mean, <laughs> I hope they do. I hope they continue and get rid of the police there uh, as we did in Cairo. It took us three days. <laughs> three days. Three days. And not a single police station in Cairo or Alexandria or Suez was not burning. Three days. The revolution continues. We will not stop until total victory. We will not stop until we get rid of the whole system, not just Mubarak, not just a few of his generals. Okay? We want to take over power. We want the working class in Egypt to take over power, and it will.